So number five then from the 2015 advanced higher maths, a little matrix question. It just says, here you've got this matrix. What's the value of P for it to be singular? Well, the condition is the determinant would have to equal zero. So let's just work out the determinant of this three by three matrix. So there are a couple of multiplications. So you probably just use the top row. You can actually use any row or any column that might be convenient. If one of them had two zeros in it, I would certainly use that one. But there's not much to choose here. They all give the same answer anyway. A. So we've got P multiplying its minor, which goes P1, negative 1, negative 1. 2 multiplying its minor, but the signed minor makes that a negative in that position. And cancelling out that part gives you 3, 1, 0, negative 1, and then there's 0. Equals 0. So what is that? P times. That's negative P. Take away a negative 1 is plus 1. Minus 2 times. Negative 3. Take away nothing is negative 3. That comes to 0. Negative P squared plus a P plus a 6 equals 0. Let's just flip the signs. We end up with this harmless little quadratic product. Multiply to give 6 and have a difference of 1. That's 2 and 3. The negative goes to the larger. That says they're opposite. So there we go. P is negative 2 or P is 3. For that, make that determinant to be 0 and hence that matrix to be singular, meaning it's got no inverse.